Hey everybody, Stork here from Stork Plays Games. I am on my way to Salt Tower Games and I am doing a demo today for Chariots of Rome from Victory Points Games. It is exactly as it sounds. It's a chariot racing game. So it's a brand new one. I believe it's just um, filled Kickstarter not too long ago, and now it's just becoming available to purchase recently. So doing a demo to get some uh, get it out there so people can check it out. Um, it's very different than any other uh, game that I've demoed or played um, in, the, in the way that it is a two to eight player game. When you play it at a higher player counter, I mean really you could do it at a two player game and everybody and you control two chariots instead of uh, one chariot. But there's teams, so you can actually team up. Uh, which is kind of kind of different you know normally you don't have anything like that um, it's a racing game in the way uh, obviously the goal is the first one to cross the finish line wins the race or some sometimes it's the furthest across the finish line or you know the furthest across and the inside lane sort of like Flamme Rouge which is a very good bicycle racing game. But this one, <clears throat> you can actually, you have to manage some things like your horses, uh, you have to manage rattle, which is basically like damage points that you take. When you corner, you have to factor those things in because basically bad things can happen in the corner if you're going too fast. Um, you can attack other drivers, so you can do ram attacks, or you can do um, whip attacks. So the ram attacks do three cards of damage, and on the cards you can flip over and it actually tells you if you get damage or don't, so it's potential damage. Um, and then the person who does the ram attack actually <clears throat> takes one card as well and you can negate the cards with different uh, different points and things that you can spend to to not take or not potentially take that card the whip attacks tend to do um, less but you do it's less risk to you so <clears throat> you can do whip attacks you can do ram attacks each person has a chariot racer so you know that's different every game those are randomly drawn cards you have a special ability for your racer and then finally there are the gods and the crowd in the favor of the gods so um, after the fourth round you roll a die sometimes good things happen sometimes bad things happen sometimes the die tells you to take a card which are the favor of the gods it can also be good or bad so um, it's definitely an interesting game. Um, this will be my first time doing a demo of it. So hopefully, I'm gonna be here for five hours today, so hopefully I can get uh, quite a few people to play and get some feedback if the, they're not opposed to it and the store's not too loud or too busy. Um, I'm gonna try to get people on camera to give feedback. Let's see if I can not get hit here. I'll let you guys know what it what it, they think um, I will try to take a few if not video some photos of the game as I'm setting it up here so you can see kind of what it looks like the components and things like that so stay tuned for some more info on chariots of Rome all right so I'm all set up here here is one of the player boards there we go, let's try to get the glare off of this. So, so, that looks like, here's your little chariot. For this guy, they're different, as I was saying earlier, they're, they're teams, so the white stripe. So that white stripe, you could be the red one. 
So this is the red without the white stripe. So the two red players would be on a team. Here's your Circus Maximus board. It's the fake cards I was talking about. Charioteer cards. Initiative just is a turn order. So these are everybody in the game. You just shuffle who all is playing, what colors. And the action cards is the damage I was talking about. So as you can see, if you whip somebody and they draw this card, it says no effect. So they wouldn't take any damage. There's different different cards for different scenarios or different sections for different scenarios. Here's your cover art, Chariots of Rome. So we're all set up and ready to play. All right, everybody. I am done with my demo of Chariots of Rome from Victory Point Games. Um, I was busy today. Got lots of plays. Uh, people joining and wanting to sit down and play for a while and play several rounds. Um, so I got a two lap race in I think. I think it was a two lap race. And then we did a three lap race with teams as teamed up. So very good. I did not get anyone to give me feedback on camera because uh, it was just kind of loud and, and the store was busy and it was kind of loud so I didn't do that. But the feedback I got was that they liked it. They thought that it would be very very good at the higher highest play counts um, so game plays up to eight and everybody thought that with eight people it really would clog the clog the map up so it'd make it a lot more strategic not that it wasn't strategic because they definitely felt that it was you have to kind of talk about you know which am I gonna go fast am I gonna slow am I gonna try to take this corner fast and risk it am I gonna avoid somebody hitting me um, or not so there's a lot of strategy but I think that with more players it would have made it um, even more so and a lot like the last game um, what we should have done because we had four players with four players we should you should probably do a team where each player controls two people. So that way you get the eight chariots on there. So that's what would be my suggestion. Um, not that it wasn't fun, because it was. And we even played um, four players and two and two were teams, which, you know, just to try something a little different and, and make it a little bit different. So with that, basically you were only worrying about two people attacking you or you attacking two people as opposed to three. So it even made it a little less strategic, I guess. But overall, good game, good feedback. Um, the people who were playing, uh, most of them were interested in buying. So I'm not sure if they ended up ordering it or not because I was uh, still doing the demo and people left that said they wanted to buy it so there you go if you're interested in um, chariots of rome it's a good game plays two to eight players it's kind of long but you can scale it back so you can do one two three or four lap race there's a variant for a seven lap race which would take forever um, but i can see how that would be fun especially with eight because you could have people actually getting knocked out of the race and breaking down, which you could have in a larger race as well. Chariots getting broke down. We got close, but nobody actually completely uh, broke out of the race. So check that out. Chariots of Rome, Victory Point Games. Uh, thanks for watching. Like my video, comment on my video, and subscribe to my page. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at StorkPlaysGames. And that's all I got. Thanks a lot, guys.